Hello Simmers! In this video, I'm going over the Ding and Ditch Smart Doorbell. Okay? Ding and Ditch Smart Doorbell mod. Alright? If this is helpful, let me know in the comment section below. This mod is a base game compatible and it's enhanced with parenthood and eco lifestyle. So if you have any of those expansion packs or um, game packs, then you're good to go. Alright? I also want to show you guys the Everything Mods course. You will have a chance to win a free pack monthly of your choosing. All you got to do is click the link in the description below, get the course, and let me know how you like it. All right. Now, with the Ding and Ditch mod, right, it's basically bringing more realism, obviously, to the game. But not just that, this mod was created by some of the best mod creators out there. All right, so you're good to go. You see how many downloads it's had? It's popular. It's very, very popular. So we're going to download. Um, if you download at hyper speed, here's what's going to happen. It's going to just download immediately, just like it did. And it's going to be called whatever it's supposed to be called. You can save it, and then you will see it at the bottom of the screen. You can click this folder, you know, button thingy here and click show in folder. But if you don't want to do that, or that option is not showing for some reason, Go to the bottom of your screen and select File Explorer. If you have MacBook, it's going to be Finder. Then you're going to select your Downloads folder, okay? When you select your Downloads folder, you want to right-click that zip file and extract it, okay? But if you have a MacBook, you don't have to do that. You literally just double-click and it opens in the blue folder. But in the case that your MacBook has some type of extractor app on it, I suggest deleting that app if it is not working for you. Now, if it's working for you, you can keep the app on there. But if it's not working for you, I suggest deleting the app, clearing out your storage, and then try to double-click and see if it opens. Now, once you right-click and select Extract, if you're a Windows user, you will see TS4 script and package. Mac users, you'll see this too, as long as the folder is open. Okay? Now, you do not want to mistake this. Make sure that you select the folder you just opened and not the zip file. Because you want the mod to work, right? Okay. Right-click the File Explorer icon again. Select the Documents folder. Then the EA folder. Then the Sims 4 folder. Now, if you have any tr trouble finding the Sims 4 folder, probably means you need to load your game. So try that. You know, get on Sims, have some fun, and then open up your mods folder. Once you're here, you're going to grab that Lot 51 doorbell and drag it into your mods folder. When you double click, this is all you should see a TS4 script and a package. If you don't see these two in there, something's wrong. Now, if you like this video, comment below what you liked about it. If you want help on another mod, comment below what mod that is. Like the video, guys. It really helps the channel. And sub to the channel if you haven't already. I really, really love doing these tutorials for you guys. I appreciate every single last one of you. And also, before I get off this, I wanted to remind you guys to go into your game option settings and make sure you enable your script for mods and your custom content. All right. If you do not know how to do that, you can find a video that I had also created on my channel. It shows you how to do your game option settings for mods to make sure that you're doing it accurately. Okay. So yeah, make sure you do that guys and check out that everything mods course so you can get yourself a free pack. Thank you guys so much for watching and I appreciate every single one of you. Have a nice rest of the day. Don't leave me here.